so hello and welcome student for today's lecture so today also we will learn some more properties of continuous functions but uh, we need one more important idea so let me start today's class so this is ma for one four two five topology okay so we will start with the idea of called um, homeomorphism okay and this is one of the most important idea so far you are going to learn okay homeomorphism okay so what do you mean by homeomorphism okay so let me let me uh, define properly so suppose we have uh, two topological spaces say let x and say tau x and y tau y d two topological spaces okay you may have um, say if from x t y is said to be to be a homeomorphism homeo morphism okay what happen if number one if is if is a bijective map or if is a, a bijective bijective and number two if is bicontinuous so i will tell you what do you mean by bicontinuous continuous that is both if and if inverse so bijective means if inverse exists right so both if and if inverse are continuous okay in other words, so in other words, um, in other words, if is a bijective continuous map, continuous map. which is also open open mean open map which is also a open map okay because if inverse continuous means if is open right so you remember the definition of open maps open max sent open set to open set and continuous mac actually pull back open set to open set so that inverse image if if uh, uh, if inverse is continuous that means if is open map and vice versa if f is open map that means if inverse is continuous okay so so the bijective means uh, that you have uh, so so that the, the number of open sets are there is a one to one correspondence between topologies this is the meaning so that means that so so this collection of topologies here tau x and tau y okay so you have this one to one correspondence if so what does that mean given every open set here you have open set there and open set there you have open set here then only you call it a um, homeomorphism okay so what does that mean that means um, this homeomorphism is a structure vis-a-vis -vis map why because in topological space everything defined by the open sets or the closure no problem but you obviously you know that uh, open set you uh, continuous map also pull back closed set to closed set so if you define on closed set also it's not a problem okay so 
So, so uh, what does that mean? That means um, these these functions actually homomorphism makes a one-to-one correspondence between open sets of all, all the topologies of to a, a topologies of a x on topologies of y. Okay, and uh, that's why it is structure preserving. So you know exactly what are the topologies on that set. Okay, maybe I will give you a few examples. So um, this was one of the exercise. Uh, Homework I ask you to do with finite sets, for example. Let me let me give you uh, some example one. So if you recall, if you have a, a set uh, of three elements one two three, and I I ask you to find out all the topologies on X, and the answer to this problem is that obviously it's in general for a set of n elements. The problem is not so easy. The problem involves to find out how many pre-ordering on a set exists, and this pre-ordering actually is a one-to-one -one correspondent between in this uh, number of topologies. Okay, so this is a very difficult problem in, in general. But for 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 a set with three elements, you know that um, that number of topologies are actually uh, there are twenty nine distinct topologies are there. You can do it. At home, I think only one person, Navdeep Kambuj, has done properly. Twenty distinct topologies. Topologies. Uh, there, okay. On X, but problem is that uh, out of these twenty nine, there are many things which are actually having similar property, and those are actually I'm going to define. So we say that uh, to uh, two topologies topology say so tau one and tau two on a set x and to r equivalent 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 if um uh, if the identity map if the identity map identity map uh, from x tau 1 to x tau 2 right so tau 1 with respect to topology tau 1 and tau 2 with respect to tau 2 so identity map always exists right it's from x to x if the identity map is a homeomorphism homeomorphism then we say that these two topologies are equivalent okay so in fact uh, in this question the number of 29 distinct topologies are not all uh, non-equivalent there are only nine topologies are there which are up to equivalentness okay so so up to up to uh, so so up to this uh, equivalent property property there are only nine such topologies on on a on a set of three elements okay nine such topologies okay for example uh, let me give an example uh, uh, so you take a tau 1 uh, for say phi x and maybe singleton 1 and uh, singleton uh, say 1 2 okay mm, yeah so this is 1 and tau 2 you choose uh, say phi x and singleton say three and singleton uh, uh, for example you choose it doesn't matter so uh, two three okay now you see that these two topologies are actually equivalent topologies why because uh, again if you define the map if from x to x uh, so when i'm showing x i mean x tau one to x tau 2 okay and I'm sending uh, that under the map 1 goes to 3 3 goes to uh, 3 goes to 1 and 2 goes to 2 
2 goes to 2. Okay, so this kind of permutation on there, right? So see, you see, this, this, this actually uh, is bijective map, there is not a problem, the permutation, right? But not only that, this is actually a bicontinuous map. So what does that mean? That means this man sends open set to open sets and also it send it pull back open set to open set okay so what does that mean that means this is a homeomorphism and hence these two topologies are equivalent this is one example of homeomorphism for financial i have given you but obviously you can you can um you can ask uh, um uh, in, in real analysis you can have lots of such example for example you choose uh, the map uh, the, the very uh, basic map say uh, okay so so let me write down both x are real number okay x to x and this is real number and uh, just to say something say 5x okay and this is simple this is homeomorphism because obviously uh, this is in what uh, g if you define gy equal to 1 by 5 into y and then you can say that um g inverse and g inverse this is identity right so that means that uh, this is obviously this is identity uh, and uh, you can really check that f and g are invertible so so f is bijective map right and continuity is a simple observation from analysis you can find out that both the map are continuous maps okay so this is bijective by continuous map so this is a homomorphism right uh, and uh, okay so and sometimes you may have some property which is little less than homeomorphism and so uh, so let me define that suppose you have a map from f to say x to y such that uh, f is uh, uh, injective only okay so what does that mean that means uh, so the map uh, so you can think that f is a map from x to f of x f of x is a subspace of y right under subspace topology and you can think the map from x to f of x and this is a bijective map of this right because injective and so injective map on the range uh, will be a bijective map right so from x to f of x is a bijective map now if uh, in addition uh, f is Mm, a homeomorphism homeomorphism uh, from uh, this x to fx inside under this condition of homeomorphism then we say then we say uh, if is a uh, topological topological embedding or embedding whatever I mean people say both embedding or embedding okay so what does that mean embedding uh, from uh, side detail full thing from x to y okay so so uh, when i say that x is embedded into y i mean that uh, there is uh, there is a one one map from x to y such that the map is homeomorphism uh, when you restrict to the range okay okay so this kind of map are called uh, embeddings which are actually not uh, homeomorphism on from x to y right Okay, maybe I can give you some example where you have uh, maps which are actually uh, bijective, not by, I mean, um, for example, yeah, so I, I can assume that function is continuous uh, and bijective also, but not open, or I can continuous function is open, but not bijective and not continuous. Okay, there are so many such things can be possible. Okay, maybe I will give one example. Um, Okay, so one first example we already discussed several times, but again let me discuss. Suppose you are going from R to RL and you see that the identity map here, identity map from R to RL, uh, uh, obviously it's a bijective map, right? So it is a bijective map, okay, uh, which is which is uh, open but 
not continuous not continuous okay this is clear right because um, uh, there are open sets here inside rl maybe say this is 0 1 so open open in rl but not in r okay so this is full back of open set is not open so this is not a continuous map right Similarly, I can give one example where it is continuous but not open. Okay. Um, obviously, the one such map is uh, that identity map from R L to R. That is one such map. But maybe I, let me give one more example, nice example. Suppose I am defining a map, say if from uh, so open interval, cross interval zero to one, open interval one to the circle S one. So what is S one? So this one is that um, unit circle in in the plane. Okay, this is what we call S one. Uh, similarly, unit circle uh, on space is called S two. So what is this one? This one is actually collection of all such points x y such that x square plus y square equal to one. Okay, same circle. And uh, I am defining a map from this. Uh, uh, closed interval uh, zero these two this um, what is that uh, circle in circle okay now I will show that this this is actually interesting example where uh, this map is uh, bijective and also this is not um, uh, okay so uh, this is bijective but it is not uh, okay so um, yeah so but, but it is not uh, uh, homeomorphism okay yeah so uh, how do, so obviously this map is a bijective map that you can easily find out okay oh sorry I, I did not define the map okay so let me define the map okay so you choose any points here uh, f of t and send it to the coordinates but uh, uh, on uh, see uh, when you define a points on circle it is better to define by parametric representation and uh, it is easy to write down this is in terms of cos 2 pi t and sin 2 pi t you see that it is it is kind of a uh, it is kind of uh, anti-clockwise direction is moving right at the point zero it starts with these points uh, so this is the point say maybe point a which is one zero and then it's moving through this right so uh, so so this map is actually um, um, kind of um, okay so th th this map okay, okay this is one zero okay so this map is continuous uh, you, you can obviously understand that okay maybe I will define uh, to understand Continuity is better enough to understand uh, these coordinate maps. These are called coordinate maps, and the both sine coordinate, sine function, and cos function, continuous functions. So, so there is no problem, right? This maybe I will define in a moment. That con coordinate maps you can you can obviously can uh, you can, you can say that okay. Okay, and I think the, the, uh, this is not so difficult, but I will give a proof. Okay, but let us assume that this function is continuous and also. Uh, not only that, this is uh, a bijective map because um, uh, you just define. Uh, okay, so there are two ways to prove a bijective map. We define inverse functions. Okay, from here, if you choose a point and find out the points here, that is the possibility. Or, or you, you. Um, okay, so uh, this is one, and uh, or, or you show that this is uh, is also on two, and this is also on two. This is one one is obvious, right? Uh, the way I'm defining is one one on two is obvious because you see uh, this is kind of wrapping the circle this map right when you reach towards one then you are coming coming from here to towards here almost right but it will not touch the same point here because this is open open one is open here right so so this is a bijective map this is, okay now why it is not an open map? This is the question. To to prove this is a homeomorphism, I need to show that this is both continuous and open. But this is not an open map. Why? Because if you choose, uh, for example, 
this closed to zero open one now you just choose something say uh, point half till half zero to half if you go zero to half then what happen then image will be from here to this half this kind of space space feel is same right so if from here you are you are going closed here you are going half open so close zero open half is is a open set inside zero one under subspace topology of r right whenever i am talking about subspace of r i am assuming subspace topology but uh, this s1 is a under subspace topology of r2 because s1 is a subspace of r2 now um, what is the subspace topology of r2 gives you that that the open sets of s1 are nothing but open set of r2 like open balls intersection s1 right now whenever you have open balls which intersect s1 what what happen it will be so 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 kind of this is circle and then uh, this is a circle and then you are intersecting open set right so you see that uh, this kind of a part of the portion of the arc which are both both the endpoints are not there right but here the image of this is nothing but this point is sitting here right this point a the image of what is the image of this so image uh, of say zero to half okay so this is, is this actually uh, this contains the point um, uh, one zero one zero sitting inside this point right so and you cannot find out any any so one zero is something called the boundary points actually so okay maybe I, I did not define it but let me tell you boundary points are those points which are actually inside um, which uh, uh, which are inside both a closer okay so maybe yeah so maybe I can define what is a boundary point okay uh, so a is a subset of uh, x double equal space and a point belongs to x is called a boundary point points okay if what happened um, if for every neighborhood of x okay I mean wh whatever neighborhood you choose every neighborhood of x uh, if uh, every neighborhood of x uh, intersects intersects both a and a complement a complement means it's minus a okay both if it intersects both uh, uh, non-trivially obviously intersect means intersection of every open set is non-trivial then then you call this a boundary point okay uh, in, in other words you can say that a boundary point is okay so if you understand the closer then you can say that this is nothing but the common points of a closer and x minus a closer okay so that's why that intersect both okay so um, so 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 these points as uh, this points uh, 0 1 which was uh, I wrote the name a this is inside the image of the set 1 and half 1 by 2 right 1 to 1 by 2 um, uh, so but but this is a boundary point the boundary points cannot be inside open set so this is not open set right open set does not have any boundary points because the moment if, if you have a point which is an interior point on open set and if you choose um, so, so there exists a neighborhood that contains totally inside the set so that for that neighborhood does not intersect the complement okay but it has to be true for every neighborhood that tells you that boundary points are not interior points okay and open sets means all its points are interior points remember this thing if every point of open set is interior points so this map is clearly not open map so this is not a uh, homeomorphism okay now one can ask what about um, embedding whether it is embedding or not so um, so what does that mean so if embedding means um, um this has to be continuous and injective map okay uh, but uh, sorry uh, this has to be con uh, for first of all it's continuous map injective map and also um uh, in the range it has to be uh, from range it has to be uh, homeomorphism right on, for the range but problem is that this range also contains the boundary points 
So uh, same function if you define from close interval 0 to 1 and this one you see that uh, the range uh, range of 0 1 is full S1 right uh, yeah sometimes it's stuck okay it's full S1 right uh, but problem is that uh, uh, here you have a boundary points which was the point zero one and uh, and hence um, it is not uh, an homeomorphism from um, these to the that's by home and then hence this is not a so if is also not a, a embedding embedding or embedding whatever is yes, an embedding okay clear so um uh, okay but, but but it is actually there is something if you learn algebra topology you can learn something called covering space covering maps then you will learn that it has a this is a very nice maps uh, in sense of that covering but let, let us not go into that okay so now uh now we understood that homeomorphisms are the special kind of structure principle function like a isomorphism of a say groups or fields or rings when isomorphism preserves the structure, similarly homeomorphism preserves the structure because it actually tells you how the open set look like if you know from one then exactly the other thing you know right okay so now uh, maybe we can ask some more property of continuous functions because homeomorphism also involves continuous functions you know, if you know some continuous functions can you construct some more continuous functions and answer is yes so uh, here I am constructing construction of continuous maps okay um so um so uh, obviously uh, uh, from a given map so so let me let me um uh, start with uh, the example. So these are there are so many such things, and the proof are also simple. I am probably I will tell you for some proof. Other things you should do. For example, if you have a constant functions, constant function is always continuous. So maybe let me write down constant uh, maps. Constant maps are always continuous. What does that mean? So if you have a map from x to y, such that uh, if of uh, x equal to something say y not we fixed. It is fixed for everything, okay? Uh, for all x, x. So this is con uh, and these constant maps are always continuous maps. Why? Uh, the proof is simple. Uh, just let me give you the idea. You can prove it. So, uh, okay, so just think about the picture. So you have x here and something say y here, okay? And um, you choose, so you need to prove that open pullback open set is open, right? So you choose open set, and there are two options either x not y not belongs to the open set or y not does not belong to the open set. If y not does not belong to the open set, then pullback is what pullback is phi here, right? So then the pre image of this or fiber of this is phi, right? If y not belongs to the open set, then pullback is the whole thing. Because everything going to that, right? Single term points. So the pre image of any open set has two choices either phi or x. And both are actually under inside the topology. So they are open sets, right? And hence constant functions are open functions, open maps. Uh, yeah, constant functions are uh, continuous maps. Because people are open set open, and hence it's continuous maps, okay? Similarly, uh, there is something called inclusion map. So inclusion means what? Uh, okay. So uh, inclusion maps are also continuous maps. Okay. So what are inclusion map? Inclusion maps. So so you have uh, a topological space X and uh, something sitting inside there something say a then you can think identity map on here right 
So the identity map on A can be think of a map from A to X, right? Is that okay? So A is after the Y and so you can think identity map from A to A and this map we can write down as new map A to X, right? And these kind of maps are called inclusion maps, okay? And this obviously this is a continuous maps. Why continuous map? Again, you choose open sets uh, of X and if you have open sets of X and then um, uh, that is that may not be open set of X, A, right? So you in intersect with that with open set of A and you see that um, you choose open sets say U uh, inside the topology of X and you check that the inverse of under the map J, J inverse of U is what? This is nothing but U uh, intersection A whatever the part so this is an open set if you use this so j inverse u is nothing but the small part with intersection with a okay and this is obviously u intersection a is open under surface topology because u is open in the usual full topology okay so so this is also open set open maps okay similarly you can define something called uh, composition of two maps okay so composition of two continuous maps is also continuous okay and this is obvious so uh, you suppose you have like a uh, control map like this and map like this okay continuous both are continuous okay then uh, obviously decompose if from x to z is also continuous if both uh, continuous I, I mean I mean both continuous right it's also continuous okay so also continuous and why so because obvious so again so let's just let me give a draw a picture then you can understand suppose you have say x and then uh, y and then z okay now you see that uh, okay so this is this is f this is g okay now um uh, if you choose open set here then the inverse image under g will open here right Clear? So U is open. U belongs to topology of tau Z. Then G inverse of U is element of tau of Y, right? Because G is continuous. And once you have open set here, then you can talk about the pre image. Pre images is come from here to here. Okay. So pre image of this is what? F inverse of G inverse of U. This is element of topology of x right but what is the inverse of g inverse of u this is nothing but g compose f of inverse of u right so if you start with the top open set here in z you said that g compose f inverse of u is open in x and hence the composition map is continuous map done this is the proof okay the proofs are very simple so you can easily uh, do it uh, at your home Okay, so uh, okay, I will talk a few more things and then one or two important theorems before finishing today's lectures. Uh, what happens if we restrict the map on a proper subspace? Okay, for example, um, uh, suppose you have uh, a map from total x, so there are two, two topological spaces, you have a map a from x to y, okay. And then you restrict it to small subspace of that thing. So that will be some part of this here, right? What happened to this? So what does that mean? That means suppose x from x to y is continuous, is given continuous. Then if you restrict this to a soft space, which is soft space of a x to y is also continuous. Continuous, okay. So what does that mean? That means I am saying that if the given map is continuous, the distance is always continuous, and that is obvious. 
why is obvious because i will use the in the previous example the composition of two maps now you see the restriction map you can think about so this if compose sorry if this is nothing but you just go first uh, uh, from um, a to x and then so you can you can write down that the uh, that inclusion map j which takes a to x and then you compose with x to y by f right where j is nothing but the inclusion map a to x okay so um so you go by a to x and then from x to y that will be nothing but the restriction map which goes to uh, a to y right and obviously you know j is continuous f is continuous and we just proved that composition of two continuous are continuous so this is also if composition is also continuous this is simple proofs okay clear so uh, number five uh, obviously uh, you can restrict so here i restrict on the domain whatever if you restrict on the um, codomain that is also same for example suppose i have this okay and I know that uh, this kind of uh, uh, is mapping, it's mapping to some, some proper subspace, okay, which is, for example, z, f of x, z equal to f of x. You can choose f of x, you can choose uh, uh, some, some subspace, okay. Then what happened? Um, okay, so. Uh, you can choose G maybe containing f of x also, it doesn't matter, or it is still f of x also. In that, any case, you can define the map from x to z uh, by the same f of x equal to, I mean, x going to f of x, okay, or rather, I should say the correspondence is same, x going to f of x because uh, so let me just assume that g contains image okay and then you see that this map is still continuous and the proof is also similar so you choose open sets so you just you, you have this identity that f of x uh, this side uh, this this inequality it is kind of like this and if you choose uh, um, you just uh, choose the open set in g then what will be how the g look like so g will be um g will be so so, so let me let me choose maybe okay some open cell let me choose u1 is open in z then u1 is half of y right so u1 will be kind of uh, some u intersection z where u is uh, open in uh, y okay under subset topology now, once you know you open in y, and because g contains the entire image of f, then what you can write down? What will be the uh, image of um, image of your u under f? So it, this will be nothing but um, okay. So if you choose any open set here, okay. Uh, so this will open set of uh, y intersection z, and open set of y intersection g will be of this form b okay so if inverse of uh, okay so maybe uh, there is a problem with the name so i can write down the diff different name then it will be easy g, g maybe from x to z okay by the same map if i'm going g of x equal to f of x okay and then you see that this this g, uh, if inverse of u is nothing but g inverse of b and i need to show that g in, uh, sorry g inverse of uh, g inverse of um, u1 okay and where i am assuming yeah so this is g g map so so open set of g if you choose open g, u1 is open set of g it will be of the form of open set of intersection open set of uh, y intersection z and uh, because u is open in uh, open in y so pullback of open set will be open in set x because this is a continuous map right so you know that if inverse of u will be continuous uh, sorry open but if inverse of u is nothing but g inverse of u1 because uh, on on z f and g are equal right 
so this means that uh, the inverse of u1 is also open is open as if is continuous okay See, because if it's continuous so the inverse of this is also open okay so 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 that tells you that if you kind of restrict your image this is also continuous but if you expand the image then what happens still same, same problem same thing happened for example suppose the map you are taking from x to y okay and you just make another bigger things but the same map okay still this is open because whenever you choose open set here and that will be having um, inside y it will be having this is the open set right the intersection under subsurface topology and the same property will follow okay so now uh, maybe you can have one more so how many i have given i think five or six right or seven doesn't even okay so maybe six no, what was the last? Yeah, five. So six. Um. So so uh. So if you know kind of something which is open on a basis or some open open kind of uh, open covering, then also it is true. Uh. For example, um. Suppose I have a function. Uh. Um. Uh, which is uh, okay. So let me write down. Uh, it's kind of x to y and i know that my x can be written as uh, union of some some open sets okay new alpha alpha minus lambda this kind of so this kind of they forms a partition kind of thing okay or uh, no no i should not say partition they, i mean partition is a special case but they they kind of um they form a covering okay so i should say that this is kind of so open cover okay so this kind of thing are called so this u alpha uh, called an open cover of x so that means yeah, all u alpha are open and u and in is x okay and if you know that the, uh, the rest, this this when you restrict under u alpha so this is a map from u alpha to y right if you know that this is continuous continuous for all alpha then the original function is continuous if it's continuous okay and this proof is also not so difficult the only thing you need to think about that uh, what about what are the relation between open sets of uh, y with the u alphas okay so for example so you can let you start with open sets so v the open set inside y okay and um, uh, you want to know what about f inverse v whether f inverse v is open or not and now you see the, the pictures then you will understand so this is x this is your y and x is kind of union of this u alphas this is u1 u2 something okay and you choose a open set v and the pre image is kind of this whatever something like that so the pre image of this has uh, union of this portion this person, this person, this person, right? So this is you can write down as nothing but um, union of this small person. But what are the small portions? So this, this small portion are nothing but the intersection with u alpha, right? So this is f inverse of v intersection u alpha. This is u1, u2, u3, like u1, u2, like that. Something, some uh, arbitrary collections. And you take the union. Okay, so you know over alpha. Okay, clear. Is that okay? So, uh, so this, this, this uh, in p image inverse image of fiber of open set U is nothing but this. Now, if you prove that all those things are open, then you are done because union of open set arbitrary union of open set open, right? And what is this? Now, can you tell me what is uh, this uh, this sets v, f inverse v of u alphas? Now you check that these sets are nothing but they are if you just restrict f over u alpha first and take the inverse because see you can think that this map f is from this is the map is from this person to this person right and then if you take inverse then you will get back only this person right so this inverse of v okay so this restriction with inverse of v is nothing but v inverse u intersection u alphas 
okay but you know that a plus when restricted to u alphas are open and hence a plus to the u alpha inverse of b is open and hence these are open and hence union open is open okay so this is the proof that uh, this kind of uh, functions open so if you know functions on a open cover continuous then the whole function is continuous also okay now the finally i will talk about two important theorem and then i will finish today's class so one theorem is called pasting lemma okay so what is that pasting lemma uh, and that tells you that suppose you know a function um, uh, from say okay so this is kind of uh, there are two closed sets a uh, union is x so x equal to a union b such that a equal to a closer both are closed set and b equal to be closer inside x okay and um, uh, maybe, maybe I can write down a little bit. Uh, okay, so I can I can choose this is A and this is B. This is the B. So there are some intersection portion. Okay, some intersection is there, and you know that the, there is there are function defined on A and B. For example, a function from A to Y, and function from uh, B to Y. Okay, and it has a property that on the intersection portion they are same. So f of x equal to g of uh, x whenever uh, for all x belongs to a intersection b under this condition you can extend um, and obviously i'm assuming that both uh, both a f and g are continuous both f and g are continuous functions okay so under this condition you can prove that if we extend the functions from then then you can extend the function something say h from x to y such that h of x will be um, either uh, fx if x belongs to a or gx if x belongs to b the question is that what happens when x belongs to a intersection b on that case this is same fx and gx so i don't have a problem now this new function uh, is also continuous also continuous and that's why we call it a pasting lemma so that means i am pasting two functions to make a new functions okay kind of when you have tear some pages you paste by glue and this is the glue here that 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 um intersection portion is the glue okay i mean the common portion where you made the glue okay and the proof is also simple um proof is also very simple See here I, am use, I will use the other form of homeomorphism, uh, sorry continuity, here I will use that because A and B are con open, uh, closed sets and we know that closed, sub closed subset of a closed set is closed set inside the bigger set, right? So this, the property that pullback of a closed set is closed is going to help us here. So I will start with the closed set. So let um, you start with closed sets A, okay A is given, right? So uh, A, B is given, so let me start with C. So let uh, C be a close set in Y. We will show that the pre image uh, under H is close. Okay. But what is pre image of, of C under H? Okay. There are two possibilities. So, okay. So let me draw again this A, B intersections. And the map is here. Something like Y. And you choose a close set here. So there are two possibilities. If you take intersection, it it can have kind of um, uh, it can have kind of common intersection there, right? So so maybe some portion here, some portion here. Okay, uh, it's something like that. Okay. So 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 there might be cases that this is this is under the image of f inverse. This is uh, image of g inverse, or you can think this is image of the f inverse. But if they are same, so it doesn't matter. So this is what this will be kind of union of two sets here right so one is f inverse of c another is g inverse of c right this portion is f inverse this portion is g inverse or you can think this is g inverse is f inverse because in in the intersection both are f and g are same so it doesn't matter f inverse and g inverse will be same also right so now you think what are these f inverse c and g inverse c because f and g are continuous and c is closed set so f inverse c is closed Gin is closed, right? So, so both 
so if inverse c uh, is closed closed in a right because uh, the map from a to y is continuous and and uh, a is also closed a is closed uh, in x and hence f inverse c is uh, closed um, in x similarly you can prove that g inverse c also closed in g inverse group is also uh, closed uh, in x similarly right you see in similar phenomena you can say that they are also closed so what does that mean that means you have now two closed sets and you know that the inner of two closed sets is also closed and hence h inverse c is is also closed in x okay so this is the proof of the theorem that uh, this is okay uh, you can do this testing thing and you see, see that this is there is uh, you can obviously replace the property that a and b are closed by both a and b are open if both a and b are open then then also it is possible and this is nothing but uh, you are assuming that function is open at a point right i mean is open mean open at a point and then pull back up open in a oh, open set containing that point will be open set so this is obvious uh, fact okay and one more last but not the least the another theorem that um, uh, i told you promise you i'm going to discuss that theorem tells you that the co if the coordinate maps okay so theorem so let me write down that suppose you have functions from uh say um, x to uh, say y1 x and y2 okay and uh, so define you just define that x f of x by something say f1 of uh, uh, x and uh, f2 of x okay so what does that mean that means okay where you, your f1 is a map from x to y1 and f2 is a map from uh, x to y2 okay so 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 these maps f1 f2 are uh, so these fi's are fi's are called coordinate map okay coordinate and map okay coordinate maps and the theorem is that uh, this function is continuous if and only both the coordinate maps are continuous okay so if is if is continuous continuous if and only if one f two are so and that that was the theorem I'm, i i i was, I was using that uh, f of t going to cosine 2 pi by t so cosine 2 pi t and comma sine 2 pi t right so the sine function cosine function contains function right and hence f is continuous so here we will prove yeah so uh, now uh, let me um, uh, let me define okay so proof what see so which portion I am assuming first let me assume that so let us assume that f is continuous continuous okay so what does that mean that mean the map from x to this is continuous and now let me let me define um, yeah, two coordinates see this is coordinate map and i will i will let define something called um, projections map okay so let me define the projection map see pi 1 from y1 cross y2 to y1 and that i, I already did i think when we talk about product topology and pi 2 um from y1 cross y2 to y2 okay so these are projections projections okay and we know that projection maps are open maps already we know this also so uh so uh, so if i define this projection map then what happened then can i question is that can i write down uh, my functions f1 f2 in terms of projection map the answer is yes now you see uh, what is f1 actually so f1 actually you just first okay with uh, if we just um if you see f takes it is okay so f takes uh, x to y1 y2 and then if you project your y1 to y1 then it is the map right so your your f1 is nothing but the map uh, pi 1 compose f 
right so this is a map from your uh, x to y1 right because if takes map from x to y1 plus y2 and then projection plus take the map from y1 plus square to y1 similarly your a2 is actually the map pi to compose f right similarly this is uh, the same uh, same idea and you know that f is continuous is given and projection maps are also continuous we learn in project product topologies and hence composition of two maps are composition so this implies that f1 f2 are continuous right so one plus is not so difficult okay and now conversely what happened conversely if i assume that okay so let me write down proper proof so conversely um, converse conversely let uh, f1 f2 uh, be two continuous maps okay then what happened continuous maps then what happened then uh, uh, so 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 and i need to prove that if from x to y1 plus y2 is continuous what does that mean that mean open sets of y uh, this product topology is same as open open this is open set inside this okay if if you know that f1 from x to y1 and f2 from x2 y2 is continuous okay now now uh, now you know that to prove uh, something is a open continuous map it is also enough to check on the basis if you remember last last i think last talk we discussed that so if you choose a basis element then what it would look like so choose a basis element so let uh, u cross v be a basis of this y1 cross y2 okay so this is under product topology when i am talking about the product space is always product topology unless until i am telling it is box topology or uniform topology okay uniform topology i did not define it but later i will define it okay so uh, unless until i am not telling then it is always a product topology okay now what will be what will be the pre image of this under f so if you take the pre image of u cross v under f so this will be an element of x right but you see uh, this pre image is coming from pre images for x1 x1 f1 and f2 so this is actually if you take the pre image of f1 of u and take the pre image of f1 f2 of v and take the intersections so this is actually same as this why why the same because whenever you choose open open uh, some points uh, inside this uh, the, so this will be uh, okay so uh, for example you, cho you, you choose a point okay so let let uh, you choose some points x inside f inverse of um, u v so that means f of x is inside u cross v right so f of x you said v of u of v means what so that means when you go f of x is nothing but f on x and f to x right by definition so that means f1 x has to be inside u f2 x has to be inside v so f1 x has to be inside v means x has to be inside f1 so that implies x has to be inside f1 inverse of uh, u similarly x has to be inside f2 inverse of v right and hence this is inside this this is obvious right and other part is also obvious by definition that the, this intersection is always inside this so this is the conditions uh, identity that is important here and it, to prove this is open set it is enough to show that this is open but this is open by definition right because it is given that f1 f2 are open and hence f1 inverse u is open f2 inverse of v is open and intersection of two open is open and hence this is open and that is the proof so f is continuous so f is continuous okay so um okay so i will stop because today's lecture is a little bit Maybe I stop here. Okay.